Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Royale and I make vegan and plant-based recipes. Today on the channel is Whole Foods Wednesday and I'm gonna be showing you what I eat in a day, whole food, plant-based and oil-free. This is just some quick and easy meal inspiration and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start off my day with a oatmeal bake. I eat oatmeal every day for breakfast in some type of form no matter what. And on this day, I decided to make an oatmeal bake. So I started by preheating my oven to 350 degrees. And then I lined my baking pan with some parchment paper. And then I started off the recipe by making some oat flour. I made this recipe on a whim. I just kind of created it as I went along. So I did write all my ingredients down. So I will leave the recipe in the description box below. So I'm just going to blend my oats in my blender to make an oat flour. You can do this using a food processor, a regular blender, or a coffee grinder. It's a super simple process to make oat flour. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that until it's a fine powder. So once I was done blending my oats into a flour, I transferred them to my bowl and I started adding the rest of my ingredients. I decided to add some more oats to this to give it some texture. And then I'm gonna add some bananas to this. Now, I'm lazy and I'm just kind of making this up on a whim, so I didn't mash my bananas separately ahead of time, but you could do that. I don't mind mashing it into the oats and them having a little bit of texture, but obviously if you want, you can mash your bananas up completely beforehand and add them and mix them in. Now that I've mixed and mashed in my bananas, I'm going to go ahead and add in my plant milk. Now I'm going to go ahead and add and mix in some cinnamon. Next, I'm going to add some date syrup. You could substitute this with some maple syrup or you could leave it out altogether if you have nice sweet bananas. So now I'm going to add some chocolate chips. I have these cacao chips from Trader Joe's. They just have one ingredient. It's unsweetened chocolate. Now, these are pretty bitter, so if that's not for you, you can use any vegan chocolate chip of your choice. These are just what I had on hand and I decided to use. So now that I finished mixing all my ingredients together, I'm gonna add this to a parchment paper lined dish and place it in my 350 degree preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes. When it's done, you'll know because you're just looking for it to be firm inside and nice and golden brown on the outside. I like to cut these up into squares and you can store them in the fridge for up to a week. You can drizzle some maple syrup on top. You could eat these by themselves or top it with some fresh bananas or other fresh fruit of your choice. So for lunch on this day, I decided that I was going to make a quick little bowl with some beans, cauliflower, mushrooms, spinach, and some corn tortillas that I'm going to turn into chips. Now, I don't have an exact recipe for you guys. I'm just giving you guys some meal inspiration. These are just the kind of things that I throw together on a whim eating a whole food plant-based and oil-free diet. So I'm just going to do a dry saute on my mushrooms and my cauliflower. I have some leftover cauliflower rice here and it has a lot of moisture in it so I'm not going to add any extra water to this. I'm just going to season it with some onion powder, some garlic powder, and I add a little smoked paprika and a little cumin to this and then we're just going to cook this down until it's warmed through and saute those mushrooms a little bit.
Now I went ahead and added a little tamari to this. This is optional. You can add some Bragg's or any coconut aminos to this. It just enhances the flavor, gives it a little bit of saltiness without adding any actual salt. And then I cut up some corn tortillas and I'm going to add these right into my air fryer and I'm going to cook these at 350 degrees for about seven minutes and these make perfect crispy chips. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my spinach to my cauliflower and mushroom mixture because we're always trying to sneak in our greens where we can. <laughs> then I added a little chili powder and then I added some pinto beans to this and then I basically just finished cooking it until I warmed my beans all the way through. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some salsa to add a little moisture and a little bit more depth of flavor. Now again, I don't have any exact measurements for you guys. This is just some inspiration and it's really easy to just take ingredients like this and season to taste and throw things together and make a really quick and easy meal. So now that my crispy air fryer trips are done, I'm going to go ahead and place them in the bowl so I could scoop up this delicious mixture with them. I'm going to top it off with some hot sauce and it's ready to go. This was super savory, super delicious. I absolutely loved it and I was able to sneak in some of my G-bombs. I had some greens, some beans, and some mushrooms. So if you try to get your G-bombs in, this is a really great meal to do so. Super well-rounded and super healthy. So let's go ahead and get on to dinner. So on this day, I decided I was going to make some brown rice zucchini boats. Now, of course, I don't have an exact recipe for you because this is just a recipe I made on a whim. So you could really stuff this however you like, but this is what I did on this day. I did remove all those middles and decided to saute them up so that I didn't waste any of that filling. So I went ahead and added them to a pan and did a dry saute with some garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, some nutritional yeast and then I also ended up adding some tamari just for a little extra flavor and then I just sauteed those for a couple minutes until they were my desired texture and then I set those to the side and then in the same pan I added some mushrooms that I chopped up some tamari and then some water and I just sauteed those for a little bit and then I added some of my frozen brown rice right in there then I added a little water to my frozen brown rice and then I seasoned it with some garlic powder and some onion powder and then I just cooked this down for a few minutes. I'm going for a cheesy flavor so I will add some nutritional yeast to this before I end up stuffing my zucchini boats. Then I decided to toss some green beans in the microwave to steam up and then I finished off that rice and mushroom mixture with some nutritional yeast and then I stuffed my zucchini. I placed them in some foil wrapped up and then I put them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes and then I brought them out of the oven and then I topped them off with some of the Honest Stand cheese. I get the Honest Stand cheese at Whole Foods. This is an easy, quick, compliant cheese in a hurry. It's something that we keep on hand, especially if you don't have time to make a vegan cheese sauce. So I just topped the zucchini off with those, put them back in the oven for five minutes to warm. And then I transferred my green beans to a dry pan and did a dry saute on them just to crisp them up again. And that was it, you guys. Dinner was served. Some great, delicious, quick and easy cheesy zucchini boats with some green beans. Again, I was able to get in some more of my G-bombs and that was it for this day, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and got some inspiration from seeing an entire day of eating with me. And if you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe to my channel if you're new here so you don't miss any uploads, and tell me what you thought of today's video in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. We'll see you in the next video, you guys. Bye!